morning. Amen. Hallelujah for his goodness and his mercy. I just want to thank God for waking us up this morning. Amen. In our right minds. And we're here today just to give him praise. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. This morning, um, I come to you all on the topic of having faith the size of a mustard seed. Amen. 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 And we don't have to turn to this scripture, but the Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 17, verse 20, that if we have faith the size of a mustard seed, we can say to the mountain, move from here to there, and it will come, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for us. Amen? Sometimes we allow, God allows us to go through things to test our faith. A lot of times we may ask God to show us a sign or a miracle in our lives. But how can God do any of these things if our faith is not first tested? Amen? Just the other day, God tested my faith. I mean, he tests me every day, but just the other day was just a mind-blowing miracle for me. Amen? I had went to the gas station to pump gas, and the amount that I was going to pump, that's what I had. So as I was about to pump the gas and fill up and, and put that little amount of gas in my tank, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, fill up your tank. And I said, well, God, you know I can't fill up my tank because this is the amount that I want to put in my, my gas. Again, for the second time, he said, fill up your tank. And so when I heard that voice for the second time, I said, well, I better listen, you know. So as I was obedient and I stretched my faith and I filled up my tank, do you not know that God is a God of miracles? When we trust in him and we believe in him, he will show himself faithful. I went to go check on my, my account. And when I looked into my account, the gas that I pumped filled up my tank. There was no charge. Amen? Jesus. There was no charge. And I am just saying this because I'm even still in amazement of what God did because I was obedient and I listened to that voice when he said, fill up your tank. Amen. And it even gets better. The gas that took me, that I pumped last week, the beginning of last week is still taking me through and I'm driving up and down. That's how good God is. Amen. Amen. Can we say faith the size of a mustard seed? Amen. Because I believe that God will do it, you know, and he did. And it wasn't because of me hearing the voice of God, but it was because I stretched my faith as the action. And because I believed in him, he did it. And God desires us to have total and complete trust in him. Amen? Let us read Luke 8, verse 24 and 25, and it's the NIV version. Amen? And it reads, verse 24, it says, He got up and rebuked the wind. In the raging waters, the storm subsided, and all was calm. Verse 25, where is your faith? He asked his disciples. In fear and amazement, they asked one another, who is this? He commands even the wind and the waters, and they obey him. Amen? In this scripture, we read that God asks his disciples, where is your faith? Again, God desires our total trust in him. Saints, I pray that my testimony encourage you um, this morning that it doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter how big the storm is. It doesn't matter what the situation may be. Even if it looks impossible or what the circumstances is, know that God will calm that storm. Amen. If we put our complete trust in him, he would do it in such a way that will even amaze us. Amen. And even I still check my account, <laughs> not in disbelief, but I check my account just as a reminder of the kind of God that I serve. You know, he's a God of the impossible. And I'm like, God, did you really do this? And he has shown me countless times of his grace and his mercy and favor and the miracles. But this time around, it just blew my mind. Amen. Amen. So I encourage everyone to just hold on strong, have that faith the size of a mustard seed, and God will do the impossible. Amen. Amen. 